Hello, how is everybody? Welcome back to a vlog. It's been a while. I am currently seven weeks postpartum. Little Miss is still sleeping. She is grunting a lot though, so I think she's going to wake up very soon. So I thought I would just come out here and make a coffee. I've really been wanting to sit down and film my birth story, but it's been hard to find the time. I do feel like things are starting to, like, not get easier, but like, we're getting... We're getting used to each other. We're figuring out our own little rhythm. So hopefully I can do that soon. Today I thought I would just vlog. I might vlog over the next few days actually. We'll see how much footage I can get. I do have a newborn. But I just wanted to jump on, say hello. I miss being here. We are going to have a coffee with a friend today and then I need to go pick up a few click and collect. So let's hang out. I tell you what, these bloody boob pads are so annoying during the night. I know like they have sticky bits on them, but they move either way, so I just chuck them in. But I always wake up and it's like over here, down here, boobs up here. <laughs> Everything just makes so much noise. Okay, oh my God, I feel like I have so much just to talk to you about. I don't know how much time I have. Um, first of all, I don't, I don't even know. Okay, hang on, let me think, let me think. The last couple of days have actually been a little bit tricky because Clinton has been really sick. He just had a cold or maybe the flu, I don't know. He was out for like four days and because Amelia is only seven weeks, she did have her needles, but we've just been keeping them separated. So I've kind of been doing everything on my own. And because he's been sick, you know, when, when your partner's sick, you want to look after them as well. But I'm like, sorry, <laughs> I can do the bare minimum for you. I've got to look after the baby. <laughs> so he's been sleeping on the lounge and we've just been like staying separated for the last couple of days because I don't want to get sick either. Like how hard looking after a baby, sick, breastfeeding and stuff. So yeah, it's been a little bit challenging, but he's on the mend now. He's gone back to work, so we should be good. It was actually our anniversary on Monday as well, but he was so sick. So it was our two year wedding anniversary and our 15 year like being together anniversary. So we are going to rain check and celebrate on Sunday. We're just gonna like cook dinner at home and hang out. I was like, that's all I want. I just wanna sit down and watch TV and eat dinner with you like we used to. Because with a baby now, I feel like that, even that like simple thing of eating dinner together and watching TV is just so much harder. Like it rarely happens. I think it's been really kind of shocking I don't know the right word, but I wasn't expecting to have as little free time as I do with a newborn. I don't know, like, I just thought I would have more time to myself. Like, we'd be able to still, like, do a few of our normal things. And, and like, I'm sure that will come. But while she's so young, I'm just kind of, like, a bit shocked that I don't have as much free time. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know how to word it. Like, obviously, I know I'm not going to have hours to myself but I thought I would at least get one hour and I don't even really get one hour even like right now sitting here talking eating coffee I mean drinking coffee I'm like just waiting when is she gonna wake up what the hell do you mean I have a second to myself but anyway I feel like there's so much I want to talk about but I don't know if this is the right place I do want to do a Q&A as well so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below I've kind of been like collecting them <laughs> for the last few weeks through YouTube um, community tab and Instagram. I do have another vlog video ready to go and it's the last couple of weeks of my pregnancy and my birth vlog. So my mum was there and she was able to get some footage. It was oh, so amazing. Like I love watching it and just like it blows me away that I freaking did that. So I do have that vlog ready to go, but I want to upload it at the same time as my like birth story vlog, like I want them to be close together. So they will be coming soon. I feel like those first six weeks were like the really rough ones. Like, as I said before, it is starting to, you know, we're starting to get it, but boy, those first six weeks, I 
don't think I've cried that much in my life. <laughs> and you know I cry a lot. You know, you've watched my other birth vlogs. <laughs> you know I cry. Seriously, most days I was like, who cried more, me or Amelia? Like, <laughs> probably me. <laughs> but I think what also changed is I took that pressure off. I went and saw a lactation consultant and she was so freaking lovely. And as soon as she like asked how I was, I just burst into tears and she just comforted me. And I don't know, she just fully like changed my mindset and I've stopped tracking her naps and her feeds, um, just trying to follow her cues more. I'm not putting pressure on how long her naps are. So if she only sleeps for 30 minutes, she only sleeps for 30 minutes during the day. And I think what makes that easier as well is that she's sleeping really well at night. Like I'll put her down anywhere between 7.30 and 10.30 and she'll sleep till 7.30 to 10.30 the next morning. Like it's amazing. She does wake up of course, probably two to three times for a feed, but what has been helping, and I know this is very controversial, but we've been co-sleeping and it has made such a difference like I feel like myself again because I can sleep we were like we did have her in the bassinet next to us and she does sleep okay in there like she'll sleep for a good three or four hour stretch but then after that she would wake up like every one and a half to two hours and it's freaking exhausting so co-sleeping has been a game changer she sleeps so well I don't remember what the start of that story was like, why did I start talking about that? I don't know. But I've been getting sleep. She's been getting sleep. Oh, was I talking about her sleep? I don't know. We've both been sleeping well. We've been able to get out the house. I'm feeling more confident. Still, like, a little bit iffy in case she, like, cracks it. But what I found is with a newborn, like, when I take her to the shops, I put her in the wrap carrier. And if she cries, people are like, oh, the little baby's crying. Like, oh, it's so cute. Whereas if that was a toddler crying, people would be like, oh my God, like shut that kid up. <laughs> but because she's a cute little tiny baby, people are much more forgiving. All right, I've been talking for like 10 minutes. Let's cut it there. I'm gonna drink my coffee. Maybe do some journaling. Oh my God, do you think I have time to journal? While Amelia is still sleeping, I'm going to get her stuff ready. And then I'm gonna try and get ready because as soon as she wakes up, it's like, go time for her. <laughs> I might put this little onesie on her. Little frilly sleeves, it's so cute, from Best and Less. And some pants. I do really love these cute little floral pants. Hmm, we got those. Oh, oh, so many options. We got these little blue flower ones. Oh, these ones are like a knit. They're super stretchy, but they don't have a pattern on them. Oh, that does look cute though. Oh, I also like the blue. I think I might do the blue. I've got this adorable little outfit for her, but it's winter. So I've just ordered some tights actually coming today. Some little baby tights. And then I got some white, like long sleeve shirts so I can put underneath it. I can't wait to dress her in that. It's so cute. Clinton actually picked this one out. I thought my bra was uncomfortable all night. And as I said before, these stupid breast pads keep falling out. I just went to get changed. <laughs> I've got my bra on backwards. So I've got the small bit at the front. Like, why is that so loud? Quickly chuck on a load of towels while I've got a second. My mum uniform has been tights and some form of baggy t shirt. These tights are from, I think it's E Mama Co. I was saying Emma, but then I actually like took a second and read it. E Mama Co. These are like the post pregnancy tights. So they do have a really like tight waistband up here. Helps to like support your back and stuff, very comfy. And these ones have pockets, which have been so freaking helpful. Like when I'm getting in and out of the car, I can quickly just chuck my phone and my keys in my pockets. I don't have to worry about it. Good morning. Hi. You want to do some stretches? Oh, ready? Arms out. <gasps> yeah. There we go. 
go. Oh, big stretchies. <laughs> oh, does that feel good? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna give me a little smile. Good mummy cuddle. Oh, come here, little stink. Oh, yeah, little baby. Change that little bum bum. Yay. Yes. Let's see what surprises you've got in here for mummy. Hey. What have you got in here for mummy? I heard lots of little farts this morning. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, you're still going. Got a little gas there, honey. Look at these little newborn feet. Oh, so precious. Little rolls. Oh, is that better? A nice clean bum? Yeah. You ready for some brekkie? Yeah? Let's go have some brekkie. I have been loving these Hakka ladybug like milk catchers. I tried the original Hakka, but it just like gets in the way when I'm feeding because I'm just using it to catch let down. So I got a two pack of these ladybug ones and they just suction onto your nipple there. And it catches quite a bit of letdown. Like I'm getting like anywhere from 25 to 50 mils of letdown each feed. So I've just been storing it and freezing it. I actually think we might try some bottles soon just so that I can have a break every now and then and like have a bit of a sleep in or just have an hour to myself and Clinton can take care of feeding her. I also just swapped over to these bamboo nursing pads. They do fill up very quickly because I leak a lot but they're super soft they're really nice your hair looks lighter today yes it does when she was born her hair was really dark but it's been getting lighter and it's got a little ginger tinge to it especially in the sun like the top still looks a bit dark but these sides here are you gonna be mummy's little ginger? I'm so thankful that we've been able to breastfeed and we've had a pretty good journey so far. As I mentioned, I did go and see a lactation consultant. I was just like, I just wanted to double check our positioning, her latch, like what we were doing, any tips. And again, like it really, really helped. Previously I was using like one of these towels, like folded up to prop my boob up because that's what one of the midwives told me, but that was actually making it more difficult and a little bit painful. So the lactation consultant said, like, get rid of that and just put her down where your nipple naturally is and like where your boob naturally falls. Cause I do have quite large breasts and it's just made all the difference, like letting her find her way to the boob as well. Whereas before I was putting the nipple in her mouth, like doing the work for her kind of thing. And she can do it, like she knows how to find it. And when she does it, the latch is so much better because she's like got her mouth open and she's like <laughs> looking for it. It's so freaking cute. <laughs> oh, babies. Good job. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Little smiles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Seriously. <laughs> All right, mommy, put on some makeup now. Let's see how this goes. I am getting the hang of this, holding a baby and putting my makeup on though. Oh, just gotta watch that neck. She like throws it around, hey? Like how do you have the strength in your neck to even do that at seven weeks old? I'm just going in with a little color corrector. This is the NYX one. I have a feeling they don't make this anymore which is a bummer because it's really freaking good. And then my NYX Bear With Me Concealer. I'm just going to use my finger to pop some of that under my eyes and on my bigger pimples. I talked about this over on my Instagram. It's the W7 Sharp Brows Brow Pen. I found it a few weeks ago, but I only like recently got a chance to use it. It is so good. It's got a really long felt tip and I have the shade Brunette. It just leaves really nice, precise strokes, adds that hairiness, <laughs> hairiness. You know, it just adds that look to my brows that I want. See in the front there, it's just added so many more like hair-like strokes. Yeah, it's literally like five bucks from Chemist Warehouse. So definitely want to go pick up a few more of those. 
Alright, today is the 8th of the 6th. I just got these little milk bags. New Beginnings is the brand. And then I just pour my milk into there. 50 mils. How good's that? So then I just keep collecting it throughout the day and then pop it in the freezer. Okay, all right, time for you to get dressed. Mm. And mummy's just gonna wipe mm. your face. Cause we got milk on it from last mm. night. Hey, yeah. should we change that bum again? What's in here for mummy, hey? What's in here for mummy? You wanna look at Mickey? Ready? Look, who's that? It's Mickey Mouse, hey? Yeah, you wanna look at him? All right, this is gonna go over your head, okay? One, two, three, and boom! Good job! Good job! We'll put your arms in and then you can keep talking to Mickey, okay? Where's your little fingies? There they are! And the other side? Yeah, where's your little fingies? There they are! Yeah, you keep talking to Mickey now. This is Amelia. Say, I got my onesie from Best and Less. It's got really cute frills on it. My pants are from Target. They're blue with flowers. And my socks, I don't know where they're from, but you can get these baby frilly socks anywhere. And my chubby cheeks are from all that milk I drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Oh no. Vomit on my sweater already. All right, well, there's going to be a quick change to mum's OOTD. Can't have this. All right, I just put on another white shirt. Little miss is getting a bit fussy. I think she's tired. So I'm just going to go put everything in the car. Just a burp, thank God. It's okay, baby. My wrap carrier, her water bottle, blanket needs to go in her cram. And the baby bag. Alright, we're finished up at Brecky. We are just at the shops. I got a few click and collects to get. Little Miss is tired, so I'm just putting on the baby wrap. Because she'll fall asleep as opposed to the crown. Right, we've made it home. That wasn't the best car ride, was it, sweetie? Just gonna get the rest of the stuff out of the car. She loves being held like this, like it really calms her down. So, that's good, because I can do things one-handed. I'll go get the rest of the stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get you sorted, hey? Are you talking to mummy? Great story. Oh, what? There's more? A goo goo? Yeah. You're a good storyteller. Yes, you are. All right, well, Amelia tells me stories. I'll quickly fold some of her washing. Um, but I just wanted to also say that, like, I'll share a little bit of her but I'm not going to be like blasting her face all over my socials. I did post a photo to my Instagram and what are the chances my Instagram gets like copied and 
I was told that they posted the photos of her. Like, that's just not okay. If you're going to hack me, post my photos. But posting photos of my baby? Not sure about that. So I haven't really been sharing too much of her face, even on Instagram. Clinton and I have discussed it, and it's just something we want to keep pretty private so yeah i'll show her like a little bit like you got to see her a little bit in today's video but it won't be like heaps although i want to share her cute face hey because you're so cute yes you are sorry about all the mum talk like it just instantly it just instantly comes out you can't help it you just can't help it when you look at that cute little face hey yeah Oh my gosh. I just got this package. I think it's from Frank Body. And it is the glycolic. Ooh. Glycolic scrub, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so the glycolic body scrub. And then there's also like some smaller ones. So it says, share me with your best babes. How cute is that? Like little samples. I'm actually really excited to try this one because it contains glycolic acid. And I think it'll be really good for like my arms because I do get like a little bit bumpy here. So that will be good. And the first thing it says is banish body bumps. Say ciao to chicken skin. Go hard on hyperpigmentation and hit decline on dryness. Oh, it smells good. It kind of has a bit of a um like gritty texture. I'll definitely be using that in the shower tonight. All right, before she gets too upset, I want to peg out those towels. And then I'll probably give her some more milk and hopefully she has a sleep. Today has been like a super productive, like leaving the house, getting stuff done kind of day. Not every day is like this. This is definitely a once off that I get stuff done. <laughs> like some days I can barely brush my teeth. Other days are like this. So I just want you to know that this isn't an everyday situation. Like if you're a new mum, please don't compare yourself to today because <laughs> this doesn't happen very often. All right. I need to attend to my bebe. Yes or no? I am obsessed. Yeah, time for your food. There we go. There we go. It's 6.30. She's still asleep. I thought she was waking up. That's why I got up. But she's fallen back to sleep. Big day for a little baby. Clinton got home an hour or two ago. He's just gone to get pizza for dinner. I just... Oh. I love a contact nap. I'm not going to lie. It's just the best having snuggles. Pimple. Oh. <laughs> well, Clinton is having some daddy daughter time. So I am going to have a shower and get ready for bed because I'll probably feed her after this and we'll both go to sleep. All right. Well, I think I will wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching. I am so excited to upload this and chat with you guys. And hopefully, I will have a new upload soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.